so uh, now we are going down the saligaon road uh, from the from the hill down to the village behind us is the saligaon seminary to our right are the valleys and the 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 village of i'm going back the village of uh, giri on the hill the school of monti de giri which says hill of giri uh the village of saligaon somewhat in front of us in that direction uh, if you go straight as a crow flies you would probably come across uh, kandoli kalangut parts of it this is a bit of a overgrown uh, a forestation project when i was young the hills were very barren so in the 70s till the 80s the hills were completely bare completely bare one fine day in uh, 1983 perhaps 82 83 maybe 81 also we had a small village youth group and we want we got this bright idea of noisy road sorry so we got this bright idea of uh, foresting the hills so we it's not a happy ending story but let me tell it to you nonetheless so we managed to go to the local mla who was dr wilfred disuza a powerful minister in the goa government at that time in the congress government early 80s and we explained to him what we wanted to do he didn't say anything to us he took out his card and he wrote a note to the forest department saying that please help these guys please help them something to that effect so the forest department gave us 3 or 400 uh, fruit bearing trees say john d baptist d e baptist that's the bus's name so anyway coming back to the story so the forest department gave us these 3 or 400 trees which we brought home and planted on the hillock and then we were very happy about it and in no time the cattle came and ate up all those trees or they just uh, withered away and died in the sun something of that sort but the point is not that the point is that we had not planted the trees successfully but we planted an idea successfully as a result of which the forest department and the local community that is a community uh, network of land holders they got the idea of having a social forestry project so they planted a whole lot of trees on these hills on all these hills uh the trees became the hills became green but unfortunately the species they planted was not the best so while they are hardy species the kind of species that uh, the cattle won't eat they are also species which uh, you know are not are exotic they are not local species and uh, they probably draw out a lot of ground water and they don't attract too many birds and those kind of problems but anyway we have we do have some green hills here one of the konkani films has a scene set here It's a film made by nyaneshwar moge where he shows a bangle a bangle seller being being uh, robbed while resting on one of these village footpaths or something like that you know in that sense so i still remember that very very 
very vividly. So, uh, the water tank supplies the village water. Earlier we all had wells, but now we are dependent on a centralized water supply scheme for better or for worse. So, yeah, at that stage in the 80s, it was quite a quiet road. Then the industrial estate came and the road became busy. This used to be the the main road connecting Mapsa and Panjim at one stage. Maybe till the 70s. Till till the till the till the Mapsa Purvori Panjim road came along. So ahead you can see the local gas dealer working on their deals and supplying all the gas and things like that. You can see the sunset in the horizon so my dad would say that from the top point from the topmost point of the village hillock on a clear day you could see something like 17 villages all around and uh, i don't know how far that was true but he believed in it at some point here it's all buried in the in the in the in the greenery in the shrubs in the creepers but there used to be what they used to call a Dovorne. Dovorne is some kind of a, a platform built of stones, of, gra of uh, granite stones, where when you are carrying a heavy head load for a long distance, you can stop and rest your head load. I think it's a bit ahead, but I tried to see it the other day. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Gas deliveries. And the last thing uh, before we stop is maybe the village temple which is uh, located on the hill uh, as youngsters 1979 we would go there and study because it was a quiet place and uh, no one came there in the morning uh, even if they came they didn't mind someone sitting quietly and studying. So, um, if, if the house was small or noisy or something of that sort, uh, we would go up there and take have a good crowd and sit down there and study all together. Yeah, it's getting dark but the door is somewhere here, I think, if I remember rightly. I can't locate it. Is, is that it? No. Sunset. Sunset in Goa. I wonder who grew all these banyan trees and at which year. I'd like to think it was some travelling Buddhist monks hundreds of years back. So we are reaching the village, the start of the village.
the first few houses at the top of the hill earlier it wasn't uh, much built on space because water was a problem the village temple which i told you about set amidst all the greenery with a long set of stairs leading you up hi doggy so if you take these stairs you will reach to exactly where we sat when we studied i think the stairs start here right oops yeah here 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 this is where it is